there's two um, student unions that are members of the FCA, um, yeah, but it's on, it's mostly um, the the uh, uh, unions like uh, McGill and uh, Concordia, uh, but we don't deal with the FCA. In it. Yeah. I was wondering, um, you all said um, the tuition became cheaper because of the struggle, right? And I was wondering when it became cheaper and has it ever gone up during the time that you're organizing? Because for us, it just goes up everywhere. You know? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's a very good question because there's clearly like a tendency for it to rise a lot. But we've been able like to limit that thing with uh, I think between uh, the 90s, and it ended a couple years ago. It was starting in the 90s. There was uh, a freezing of the tuition fees for a lot of years. So that's not the free education we want, but it's still getting closer at that point. But it's not, you have to be careful with that because it's not a free education position. It's a freezing position. That's not the same, but it's kind of an in-between. That's not so good, not so bad, centrist, but you know, it's very popular. Um, for the private universities, because you said there are some, is it possible for students at a private university to advocate for free education? I mean, how does that work? I mean, uh, some in McGill they just got uh, MBA that uh, they won't receive any money from from the government now, but they're gonna pay like thirty thousand uh, a semester or a year. I don't remember, but it's very expensive for us, and it wasn't very. It didn't have like a good. Uh, it wasn't very, very well received in the student movement. I think. But as we said, there's not that much uh, private universities because they all they are all financed by the government in some way. Yeah. Do individual like uh, campuses of like unions or like the union on campuses like organize within the campus? Is for, like 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 do they have struggles like single campus struggles as well? Yeah, we, we have the struggles at the moment with our uh, administration. And we work as a campus against our, our administration that impose us a new way of calculating the, the, the note system and stuff like that. So we have struggles on a day-to-day -day basis with the administration. And we also, some campus also have struggle with the government because the government wants to impose uh, let's say they want to impose our administration <coughs> councils to be uh, controlled by uh, people from companies. They don't want us to be on the administration councils of the administration. They want the companies to send people to uh, deal with the university. So that's a big struggle we have right now. And some campus deal with it fine because it works like that already. But on our campus, Students, teachers have their word to say on how the university is uh, managed. So it's kind of different here in America because so many kids go to private universities, which are basically corporations. Like I pay, well, the tuition in my school is over twenty-five thousand dollars a semester. And do you think? If, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if we're ever going to get to a place where education is accessible again and free in a lot of places, do you think it has to become more like you have, where most of the universities are public? Because I don't think you can ever get a free system when they're all corporations. That's a very good question. Seriously, it's kind of scary sometimes to think about that. But, you know, there's a tendency in our public universities to get to be corporations. There's clearly that tendency too. I mean, we have to fight against that too. So, but it 
might be easier to fight for that in Quebec at the moment, probably here. I mean, I was listening to you saying that you pay like $25,000 a year, like not a year, a semester, semester. sorry. Session. <laughs> that's crazy, that's just, yeah. that should, that's not fair, I mean, <laughs> that's yeah. not fair, but, but, you know, when you pay that much, I mean, it's harder for you to, to strike. Yeah. So, what's the starting point? You know, that's the question in social movement and collective action, that's always the question. Where does it start? And that's, <laughs> Now, I guess what, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Have there been any cases in Quebec of private universities becoming public universities? Because if we could figure out a way to transform them here, that could be a pretty good thing. That's very interesting. Uh, Maybe we can use the Prince <coughs> example, where they have uh, two types of university, like you have. They have uh, public universities and corporations. The public universities are uh, almost free, but the main problem is <laughs> and there's the uh, the companies <laughs> the companies don't even recognize anymore the, the public uh, diplomas so this this situation I don't think it's been that far in the United States yet but can go to this point. So I'm pretty sure we, what I would do as a person is I would fight for my scholarship system not to become this. That, that's what I would do as a beginning and then we can start on something else. Uh, what about uh, faculty unions, or um, like uh, professors and teachers? Uh, I assume they organize along well, union lines. How? What are the interactions between student unions and teacher unions? Say when you want to go on strike, or if you're fighting the government or the administration. Actually, there's sometimes links made, but honestly, I could say that teachers often use the, their students to get better conditions and wage. That's too bad. Sometimes they they also uh, give us a, a help, but you know it's mostly unilateral. And there's a there's a confusion between uh, faculty. We use that, uh, for example, uh, our student movement uh, that we're part of is a faculty. So that might be that might explain like the confusion. Translation uh, problem. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Is there any other questions? Uh, when you all go on like general strikes, is it ever connected? This is similar to what Patrick was asking about like, labor strikes. Like, do you all strike with like campus workers or like with like? You mean like around the FTA? Is that like a, a strike that was okay. down workers? I mean. At the moment, we, we work uh, closely with uh, a new union that was created uh, <coughs> I think two years ago. Um, that's uh, basically uh, unionizing uh, people from uh, graduate school. So grads, grad students, they are getting unionized uh, at the university in Quebec. Uh, I think they got uh, 15,000 uh, new members in the last two years two to three years. 